little bit of an errand day, taking the Jeep Gladiator. Good morning. Hi, buddy. Cold start. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? That's right. We had a little bit of an errand day today. Had a light go out, needed some batteries for our Christmas present. So headed off to Lowe's, as you guys saw, to pick up some light bulbs. Um, had an outdoor light go out today. We're going to install a light bulb. That's right. For some of you guys out there, a video on how to install a light bulb. Well, first of all, you need a ladder because the light is uh, up there a ways. So we've got our little step ladder thing. These things are so handy, by the way. I use this thing surprisingly all the time. And then, of course, I'm probably going to need the light bulb. I took it out of the box already just to make things a little easier. It's one of these giant floodlight things. So we're going to see... If I can't get it in, and I thought, strangely, you know, the end of the bulb, the screw-in part here, looked to me like there were different sizes. I don't know. Uh, so I'm hoping that there aren't, um, because this is what I've got. So let me crawl up here on this thing. Got some nice bugs and stuff in there. Uh, if you were really handy, you'd clean that out, but I'm not gonna. So, barely fits in there. Should be able to just screw it in, in theory. There you go. That is how you screw in a light bulb. Okay, now I know this isn't really Jeep related, but I did take the Jeep to get the batteries for it. So I thought I'd include you guys in case you're interested. What I've got here, all right here, this is a Christmas present from Krista, my wife, and it's a cuckoo clock. Because I kind of dig cuckoo clocks. I don't know. Might go with my personality a little, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, nothing extravagant. It is battery operated, so it doesn't have... It has, but they're not functional. Those pole chain things. Um, but I will say, she did not get me batteries with a present. Now, it's like having Christmas somewhere with a little kid and you get him a really cool electronic toy or something. And then you don't get him batteries. It's not right. So we have batteries now. Um, and of course, you know, they make these packages, I don't know, like indestructible. Might take me, well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I've gotten smarter over the years. Let's see. Ah, 
I have. That really wasn't too difficult at all. So I take back all the bad things I was thinking about the battery manufacturers. So what you're supposed to do with this thing, apparently, is uh, open the back and then stick the batteries in. So let's, uh, let's get them in. I can't wait to see how loud this thing is. Um, well, first, oops, I, I've broken it already. Uh, <laughs> God, I hope not. Let's see. Oh my God. Wow. Really? It should be this hard? Oh man, it's turning the clock and everything. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna lay it flat. Rip the battery out. It's not very tight in there. Okay, let's try this again. Put the front part in first. All right, we have battery success. I know it shouldn't be this difficult, but it is. It is, you're watching. There you go, battery number two. Okay. Oop. It made a noise. I don't know what that was about. Now, supposedly, it says here, um, let's see, remove the cover, three batteries, hang the clock, hang the pendulum. We're not doing any of that yet. Set up night mode. Move and press hand clockwise. Wait a minute. Move the minute hand clockwise to set the time for 5.30. Press the reset button on the control panel. Control panel? I can put the back back on. Um, there is a swinging thing in there. I assume it swings around once you put the pendulum on. Uh, this has a slot in it somewhere. I know, it's a cuckoo clock, right? How hard should it be? All right, reset. I see a reset. So, it says that I'm supposed to move the hands clockwise to set the time at 5.30, okay? Okay, it's set at 5.30. Press the reset button on the control panel. Okay. I push that, and then it says, move the minute hand clockwise to set the time. Wait a minute, no, no, no. Move the hand clockwise to set the time to six. Okay. Okay, I did that. Uh, the cuckoo bird will call six times. That didn't happen. Let's move it a little more. Well, there we go. Three, four, five, six. There's the bird. Well, I think that was more than six, but that's okay. It says, move the minute hand clockwise to set the correct time, uh, which is, I don't even know what time is it. Um, looks like uh, 9.58. So we need to move this thing around to go to 9.58. So that's seven, eight, nine, 58. All right, that should be it. I've triggered it again. There are adjustments on the side for volume. So you can turn it all the way down. Now, I will tell you, there is a... Uh, preset thing on this. The clock will not chime between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, so apparently it will uh, it will wake me up at um, 6 a.m. So I don't know. Anyway, go get a nail on the wall. We'll hang this thing up.